I'm unsure if Christians really understand the concept of God and his word being our daily bread. Without food, you will eventually weaken and die. Without food, a child will not be properly nourished and they won't grow. Without food, the spirit that is the Christian will be too weak to do anything of meaning in this world for God. This is why we should consume the word of God daily. What's going on, guys? I am Edward Wiggins, singer, songwriter, poet, and musician. And I like to take biblical concepts like these and view them from a creative light so that you can learn as a writer to prioritize biblical soundness while using your creativity to do so. This particular topic is called Our Our Daily Bread, and I got it from an excerpt from one of my articles and uh, on my newsletter, which is behind the pages. And if you wanted to check out the full article, please go in the subscription below and click the link. So we consume all kinds of things, all kinds of information. We use food to fuel ourselves and the things from that food is what sustains us and continues to keep the body going as it should. In the same way that we fuel our physical bodies, we need to fuel our spirit, man. We are spirits. We come from God. So without the word of God, which is our daily bread, according to Matthew chapter four, it says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Without the word of God, we won't be strong enough to handle the things that go on in this world. We'll be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine and by every lie that Satan brings up to try to convince us of one thing or another. Satan's not very strong. Satan's greatest power is the power of deception. That's what he used to strip Adam and Eve of their privileges and their holiness when they were connected to God and had everything available. He lied to them. Eve was unsure of what God said. She didn't have a proper knowledge or understanding of the word of God. And she acted on that knowledge and Satan played on that. Similarly, when you consume a improper understanding of the word of God, or if you just don't consume the word of God at all, you have nothing to sustain your body in the midst of a world that is filled with lies. And when you have nothing to fight against the lies, you'll weaken and either go along with them or be killed because of them. Every word of God was used to create this world. It's the material for all creation. When man disobeyed God, he cut himself off from the word of God. He cut himself off from the glory of God and began to die and the rest of the world with him. The word of God is at the heart of everything. The world was designed to be sustained by it. And similarly, so were you. So ensure that you are consuming the word of God with consistency so that you can sustain your spirit, man. Now, don't take this all the way in the opposite direction. I don't need food. I can just live off of the word of God. No. You can't just live off of the word of God. Remember, you are a three-part be being, body, soul, and spirit. You need to take care of that body so it can function in this world properly. And you need to take care of that mind, the soul, right? The emotions. You have to address those things properly. But the way that you can do that effectively is when your spirit is strong. When your spirit is strong, then it can guide your mind and keep you clear headed, right? We haven't been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love and of a sound mind. When your spirit is strengthened by the word of God, then it can control your thoughts, help you think correctly. And it can also properly govern your actions. Make sure that you are constantly consuming the word of God, for it will sustain you in this world of lies and keep you in perfect peace. 
anyway guys this has been the video if you like this please subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified of when i make new videos also like share comment i want to know what you guys think so let me know what you guys think in the comments and share with two two or three other writers that you think would benefit from this information anyway guys i love y'all and i will see y'all in the next one peace